What's up, YouTube? I'm uh, just getting ready to change over the blade set on the New Indian Nation. As you can see here, I took the copper bushing out of the other hub because I want to paint that anyway and I have to take it out to do that. So I just put it in this hub here. I got the uh, the nice ghost blades. Got the five of them on the hub. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some base readings here as soon as slide that over as soon as my uh, Davis picks up the there it goes picks up the wind speed. Um, now we're grid tied. We're not going into batteries. My uh, my batteries are under condition right now. Running the little battery minder on them to condition them. I think two of them are bad, so I'm going to have to take them out. Um, so what we're going to do is I had to bring out the... Okay, now it's working, right? I had to bring the Davis out here. So we could do a little comparison. I mean, it, it's going to be a little tough to do a comparison video because really, I mean, the winds are varying so much. They're coming out of the east mostly because of the wind off the ocean today. East, east, northeast kind of thing going on. Um, but it's been, uh, it's been averaging about, I'd say maybe 10, 10 to 15 miles per hour. And I brought the Davis out, and right before I turned on the camera, the batteries died. So I had to run in the house and grab the power cord. I got it plugged in now. So all of the current data that was on the screen disappeared, and I had to wait a little bit for it to sync back up. But, nonetheless, we're just going to get kind of some basic readings. And then we'll go out and take a look at the Windy Nation. As it is, I'm pretty sure you can see that. You could probably hear it waddling on the pole up there because of the mount. I gotta redo that mount completely. I have a really cool idea. I'm gonna try to use the the high casing. But if that doesn't work, or for whatever reason it's one smaller than the other, or bigger than the other, or whatever, <clears throat> I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to build a new mount, which I planned on doing anyway. But uh, right now, all of this is, you're just seeing, let's say here, we're going to get a base reading with, with just the solar coming in. It's, a, it's pretty cloudy out there right now. There's no, no sun. So let's get a, I'm going to turn the turbine off. So there you go. That's solar. About 21 volts, no amps. There's not enough amps coming through the solar to even kick the inverter up. Yeah, see, and when it does, it only goes up to like an amp. So out of these wind readings, just subtract an amp or two. Because there, there's 500 watts of solar, but it's it's so cloudy and dark out there right now it's barely generating an amp or two so we'll use that as a basic baseline but uh oh did i turn it back on yeah it's back on so yep and the winds just changed direction again but they've been gusty they've been they've been pretty steady earlier but it's low right now so this is the opportunity that i have i want to get up on the roof and get the five wind grabbers off that and slip this up there and go from there in hopes that uh, I don't know see what it'll do because I'm really curious and now I have an opportunity to test them out I figured I might as well I got five KT clear blades on the 10 blade hub but I'm only using five, so I'm using every other hole. 
So that ought to give me a decent uh, wind rating. So I'm not changing the number of blades I currently have on the wind turbine, and I'm just changing the type of blade. I'm going from the wind grabber, the aluminum blades. I don't know if they're cut and then rolled or if they are pressed, but uh, they, they've been doing me good. They've been doing me good for a long time. I've had them on that turbine for a while, but now I'm gonna try these out and see how they work because I don't have a Thermodyne PMA. I uh, I have a Windy Nation PMA, the 750, the Wintura 750. Um, so, as you can see, now my winds are nice and light. So what I'm gonna do is let's uh, let's step outside and take a look at the Windy Nation real quick. I apologize about the wind in advance. It's windy out, breezy, but you can see it's coming out of the east northeast. Uh, pretty steadily. You can see it bouncing around a little bit. So, there we go. It's speeding up a little bit now. Oh, I've been slowing down. I'm going to try to block the wind as much as I can. But uh, there's the five solar, or there's the four solar panels, and here's one. So, alright, let's go back inside. It's freaking cold out here. So, there you go. That's the windy. Um, well, I guess there's no time like the present to get this started. So I gotta get the ladders up on the roof and bring a socket and wrench, or a socket and a ratchet. Get up there, take the blades off. I'm gonna shut the turbine off first, obviously. We don't wanna get hurt because, because those blades spin fast and they hurt. So we're gonna try to go quickly here. So I'll be back once we get it changed over. There we go. Didn't take very long. Fucking dogs. Okay, let's uh, let's turn the brake off. Okay, brake is off. Now we wait. Let's go take a look at it. See if it's spinning. Okay, it's turning. It definitely needs to come down and get reworked. I did grease it while I was up there. Well, I used what I had. I grabbed a can of uh, chain and bar lube and lubricated the pivot points there. It'll suffice for now. Uh, now the wind is like dead. Oh, here we go. Uh, it should. It's not going to take the knocking around away, but I could take the squeaking away. Oh, I can't barely see them. Those blades in that hub are much lighter than the Windy Nation blades in hub. I noticed that when I was carrying it down the ladder. Let's see what our clearance looks like. Our next little pole. Yeah, there's about a. I'd say a good foot. Oops. There's about a foot between the blades and the tower. Okay. Now the winds are going to die off completely. You know that, right? Let's go inside and watch the meter. Okay, we back in the garage. Now, what I also did was I disconnected the solar. This is the positive coming off the solar disconnected so we're not making any solar watts this is going to be all um blah, 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 wind so right now we're right about where i've always been <laughs> even with the windy blades were right where i always was see what did i say about the winds they were going to die right out as soon as i did this right so We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. I guess we'll just watch it for a minute. And I'm also not going into batteries. I'm going into these cheap ass, horribly engineered grid tie inverters. So we're going to see what I put out with them. 
Of course, I do have some batteries. I could probably hook them up. Look at that. 11. See? This is inverter issues. This is not the turbine. 20 volts and it's still there we go. So, let's just see. 11. 10. I'm reading the wind miles per hour. 10. Steady 12. Oh, you know what? I think I have to... See, I, I did this even with the windy windy blades. This is inverter bullshit right here. This is not wind turbine bullshit. There's 12. See how the, the volts climb so quick. There's 12, 11. So the blades are definitely turning. They're not spinning very fast. The wind is light. It's earlier. It was like 13, 14, 20, 26. But I wasn't getting up on the roof. You can see there's a ladder. I tipped it back down out of the way. I also want to see how wobbly this thing gets. Yeah, you can see when the inverter kicks in. The, uh, the turbine stalls right out. Watch. Yeah. Yep, oh, see? It speeds up, speeds up, speeds up, and then inverter. Speeds up, speeds up, speeds up. Oh, it's still holding it. Inverter. But that's one thing I really like about having the solar panels tied in with this. They kind of keep a constant current on that grid tie inverter. And in doing that, it helps this thing to maintain a speed. Battery's almost dead. Wow, they're so quiet. There's no fucking wind. Look at this. Look at that shit. It looks like the buds are starting to sprout on the poplar back there. Let's see, wind, 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 wind. We're gonna get RPMs, 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 and then the inverter kicks in, and then eh, it slows it right down. Holy crap, that looks so cool. I like how clear they are. I wonder if they'll produce shadow flicker. I know the Windy Nation blades did. They produce shadow flicker. And anybody that doesn't know what shadow flicker is, it's when the uh, the blades of a wind tur turbine spin and cast a shadow and the shadow crosses a window and it flickers in your house. That's mostly with larger turbines, the big megawatt sized turbines, they do that if they're not placed far enough away from residential or commercial or industrial buildings, they cast fl shadow flicker. Especially the north, the north side of the turbine is where the shadow flicker occurs. So, well, I think we're just watching paint dry here. I'll have to wait until I get some a little bit bigger wind, I guess. And see what happens. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll come back if we get some wind, because... There ain't shit. Not right now, there ain't. So... That's all I got to report on for now, guys and girls and... whatever. Yeah, my battery's almost dead, so alright, well, we'll touch base with this again.